Hey, what's going on guys? It's Alex, and I'm going to be telling you how to record your screen slash gameplay footage if you do so want to record that with a simple application called Streamlabs. I am in no means sponsored by Streamlabs in any way. I do use their service and I highly recommend it. It would probably be my number one free service. But uh, as it says here, it's a fast, reliable, and feature-packed streaming app. The best thing about this is you can also stream on Twitch and YouTube with the same application, as well as just record for storing a video file. So if you do want to know about this software, just keep watching and I'll be telling about the settings for a high-end computer and also a medium to low-end computer, which is what I'm running currently on now. First thing you want to do, you want to go to the link in the description down below or see the link in the browser above. Once you type in that link, you'll come to this website where you'll see download beta. Go ahead and hit run or save, whichever one you wanna do, and you can pause the video now and catch up with me, but it'll be a really quick cut. Let's go ahead and run uh, the installation. I do already have it installed, so uh, I won't fully go through with the installation but go ahead and save where you want to save it to and hit install cool so the first thing that you'll see when you open up your Streamlabs OBS is that this screen should probably pop up right here you can connect your YouTube twitch mixer or Facebook to it but you can just hit setup later if you have your own settings that you want to use or whatnot uh, you can actually stop the video right here and go ahead and enjoy your free recording service. But if you do want to see and hear the settings that I am using, then keep watching. So the first thing that you want to do is hit source. And when you hit source right here, you have all of these different sources that you can choose from. But if you want to record your desktop, then hit display capture, hit add new source. And I want people to see my cursor. If you don't want people to see your cursor, then you can check that off. But I do want people to see my cursor. Uh, this is default right here. So we just leave that and we hit done. And there you go. Your screen is showing uh, your screen right now. <laughs> so uh, when we go to our settings, this is the most important part. You'll go up to here right next to login. Hit that. Uh, kind of screw and what you want to do first is go to output now if you're not doing any streaming uh, you can go ahead and minimize this so you can get that out the way but uh, leave your output mode as simple um, yeah advanced would probably just confuse a lot of people so you want to go down to recording and go ahead and hit browse right now all of my videos go to my videos folder uh, just a common folder but you can change it to wherever you want it to go then when you get to recording quality so you don't want to have it same as stream that is not what you want to keep it as if it is default is that but if you have a really high-end computer then you can use a uh, lossless quality, which would result in super large files, which nine seconds would probably be equivalent to a lot of gigs. <laughs> so if you have a really high end computer and you have a lot of memory, then go ahead and choose that. Uh, just know in editing that uh, you'll feel that pain later. Um, yeah, <laughs> unless you have the high end computer. But if you have a medium, to low or kind of like a somewhat uh, high-end computer still then you can use indistinguishable quality which still has larger file sizes or if you have medium to low in spec computers then uh, you want to go for high quality which would be a medium file size I don't really want to record a 15 minute uh, video or gameplay and have the file be 90 gigs that doesn't really work out too well so I keep it at high quality uh, medium file size so select that and what you want to do here for the recording format you want to change it to mp4 change it off of FLV 
encoder you can leave the same uh, unless you do want to use your hardware to uh, record but I'm just gonna leave it at software and remember I have a medium to low in spec computer so you can leave it at that or change it or experiment and then after that you go to audio which is super important now as well as also the output but for your desktop audio device, do not leave it at default. Actually choose the speaker that you want to use. And that's just because maybe if you plug in your mic, um, you might want your audio to be recorded through your mic instead of your computer. So just select it, uh, select what you want, and that just gives you reassurance that default or um, wherever you want it to go, it's recording that. Then for mic, you want to select the microphone that you're using right now and um, do not leave that at default either because you might end up using your natural computer mic instead of um, my mic, which is a Audio-Technica USB microphone, which isn't showing up here, but it is showing up there, but you wouldn't have this problem, but uh, choose the microphone that you want and go ahead and click that. Then once you're done with that, you'll go to video. And this deals with resolution. And resolution is a lot to deal with the quality as well. As you know, this is the most common for uh, 1080p HD, and then you also have 720 HD as well. Um, but it will also shrink the size or widen the size of your recording. So just be careful of that uh, just experiment with that but this is what I use right here um, if you can go higher than this then you can do so but uh, I believe this is the max screen size of my laptop so and same thing with here you can increase it or decrease it and this is the output resolution so this is what you'll be seeing the canvas and this is what it'll output um so i just like to keep both of these the same um yeah it just it really helps and also keeps things simple so for this right here uh the downscale filter so the bilinear is for low-end computers if you're not able to really handle recording um bicubic is for a medium and then this one right here is for high in so i'm using bicubic because i'm on the medium side instead of the low end side uh, but a lot of people would probably be in bicubic anyway so just test that out uh, if you want to go higher you can but i'm at bicubic so for fps type you want to leave that or if it's not already there to common fps values uh, just go ahead and click that and then when you get here uh, choose either 30 or 60 um, again if you have a high-end computer and your computer can handle 60 FPS and also edit and render at 60 FPS then go ahead and choose 60 but uh, other than that most people should be at 30 there is really no other reason to go in the in-betweens here but yeah so 30 would do just fine and you hit OK and you can adjust the volume for uh, your screen or the gameplay or whatever you're recording at the time you can adjust that and you can also adjust your mic here so uh, just kind of giving you control and power over your own audio so that's pretty cool and then you just hit record and then when you hit record your output is uh the folder that it'll be going to so whatever you put for your recording path that's where the video will go so i hope this video did help uh please click the link in the description down below and i'll catch you guys later